we're gonna toss this thing in and see what kind of fish we can catch. Here we go. Oh, not a bad throw, not a bad throw. We got a turtle and a fish. Do you guys know what kind of turtle that is? It's a feeding guy. She's never really seen fish. This is kind of my first time doing it for her. There you go, there you go. Good boy. And I'll be raising him up. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Heck of a food he finds. Oh, God. Kiki. Oh. Whoa. Careful. <laughs> careful. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kenan here. And uh, man, we had a lot of rain the last couple of days. The pond is beautiful and full. Look at this thing. It is amazing. And big tortoises, rather, the Asian wood turtles are running into it. They know it is time to get fed. What I need to do today is I need to feed, of course, the pond turtles, but I'm also gonna catch some fish because I wanna feed the monitors some fish today. Uh, don't have any more rodents for them, so luckily for me, I have a pond full of tilapia and brim. And all I have to do is throw out some food, turtles get some food, and then I get some of the fish. Why don't we get right to it? I'm gonna start throwing some food in. We've got, what I use here, is I've got a big old kind of dog food bowl of this croc chow and the turtles love it. So we're just gonna toss it right in. And you can see the fish starting to come over. So we just kind of spread it out, get them excited. And then I'll show you what I do next. For those of you who might not know, I reach over here, I've got this little cast net. Now, I'm gonna need my hands free, that's why you guys are kind of stationed up there. And uh, basically, we're gonna toss this thing in and see what kind of fish we can catch. They look like they're really jumping today, we got a lot of turtles in there as well. But I love this man, this was the reason I actually bought the house years ago when I came here. Um, I just fell in love with this pond and uh, more for the pond than the actual house. Isn't that funny? A little bit crazy. But then again, if you love turtles and other reptiles, not that crazy at all. All right, here we go. I don't have a lot of room to spin my little spin maneuver. So let's see if we can throw this cast net properly today. Here we go. Oh, not a bad throw, not a bad throw. And then you yank it and see what you get. Let's see. Oh, check it out. We got a turtle and a fish. All right, good stuff, man. Let's uh, go ahead and dump it on out. Okay, can you guys see? I think you can see, perfect. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, that's an interesting turtle I can actually tell you about. Oh, this fish has gotta, gotta go out there. Here we go, right in. All right, now the turtle is kind of caught up in that net. Hold on, let's see. Do you guys know what kind of turtle that is? It's an angry turtle. It's a male turtle. It's actually what's called a hypermelanistic red-eared slider. As they get older, they lose their color and they kind of turn dark like this. So that's actually a slider. How funny, huh? Totally crazy. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna let this guy go and we're gonna keep on fishing. There you go, buddy. Careful. All right, good deal. I'm also going to scoop out some of the food, chuck it in there. And you can see those fish really getting after it. All right, let's do it again. I love it. I love this backyard. It keeps me entertained. It is, uh, man, I don't know. I feel very fortunate. I'm glad I picked this place up back in 2004. Oh, there's a big... There's all sorts of turtles floating around. We got the Orlidias right here. Big Orlidia, you wanna see him? There he is. He's right there, that big giant head. That's the Orlidia borneensis. Oh, there he is, look at him. Oh, how cool, huh? So many cool turtles to visit with. And uh, what's fun is, these guys do well in this pond. This is kind of like a natural, or I, I keep them as uh, wild as possible. I throw food in here a couple times a week, but what happens in this pond kind of is the deal, you know? I mean, it's survival of the fittest in the pond. It's a community pond, so there are a lot of animals in here. But it's not overstocked because there's plenty of food as well. Here we go. Oh, that was kind of a crappy throw. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I got mine. I got something. 
sometimes you can feel in the cast net. Hey, look at this. Look at that. I actually, I got a bunch of fish with that throw. Pretty neat. See that? And these are just the right size for some of my monitors. We're gonna feed them all some fish. Let's get this in there. All right, we're gonna go out this way. Oh, there we go. Way out there. Let it sink a little bit. Give it a yank and it closes up nicely. Oh, we got a turtle. Ooh, who do we got here? Hey, hey, that's cool. We got an Orlidia. Let me show you guys. Here, look. This is one of the smaller, smaller Orlidia that we put in here from the Miami Zoo. A couple of years ago now, and as you can see, they're getting larger and doing well. Nice and heavy, beautiful shell, oblong shell. These guys really um, like to kind of stay on the bottom of the pond, and they just kind of wander around the bottom of that pond, and they eat things that fall to the bottom. Uh, except, of course, when I go ahead and I throw some nice morsels of food out for them. So that's neat. I love it. We'll get this one back in. Go ahead, young lady. You can get back in that water. Go on. Go on. Don't be shy. Very cool. I'm going to toss some more food out here. It's a feeding day. That's it. Whew. Get it all out there. Okay. Still not a great throw. Not my best. But you never know. You never know what you might get. Oh, we got fish. Woo! We got fish and we got a lot of the reptile food too. See this? More fish, more food, more fun. Oh boy, oh boy. We gotta get this guy in here. Looks like a tilapia. And you gotta be careful, they have little spines on them. You don't wanna get stuck by those spines. All right. Oh, who do we got now? Oh, that's a cool turtle. I gotta show you guys that turtle. Hold on. We got the big gal. This is, this is, oh, my serrated mud turtle from Africa. It's an African mud turtle. Oh, very, very cool turtle. Let me show you. She's gotten so big over the years. Oh my God. Paleo Medusa. And uh, this one has a hinge. Let's see. See that? Oh, she got a hinge. Beautiful, beautiful turtle. African mud turtle, side neck turtle. And uh, man, these are just such robust and hardy animals. They do so well here in the pond. They get kind of large and uh, I don't have any males, so this will never breed unless I find another male. But it's a beautiful female and my goodness, how cool is she, huh? Always something unique in my pond. Okay, get going, lady. Right back in, we gotta get these fish in the bucket. I'm hoping to grab a really big fish for Slinky. Cause he loves them. He's uh, not afraid to eat a big old fish. I can tell you that. Oh, that was a good throw. Keep getting fish. Oh no, I caught a tree. Got some fishies in there. Oh, I got a big old grandest turtle. Sorry, pal, mistaken identity. All right, guys, I think we got all the fish we can get. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get these guys back. I'll be right there. Okay, so I uh, did stay and fish a little bit more and I did catch a nice big one for Slinky. Um, right now we're in here with Pinky, or rather, excuse me, Inky. I get confused. What can you say? Their names, they sound similar. Uh, that's on purpose. Anyway, here she is, big lady. She's getting big out there and uh, it's time to eat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys up here. It'll be a big meal for her, but um, it should be good. Here we go. All right, guys. Let's see, she's always a little nervous sometimes. Let's see what she does. Come on, it's food. That's food. She's never really seen fish. This is kind of my first time doing it for her. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, 
All she's got to do is grab it. She'll love the taste. Look at how nervous she is of it, though. Oh, no. I don't think she's into it. What a bummer. Oh, no. I'm going to try and hold it a little bit further back. And the wiggling might actually help us here. Let's see. She's sometimes shy to eat in front of me. You could see. So I might just leave this fish somewhere she can grab at it. I don't think so, guys. Oh. That's not gonna work. And I don't want this fish to suffer much here, but she seems to be interested when it's on the ground. Like I said, she doesn't necessarily like to eat in front of me, but she knows. You can tell she's, she knows something's edible down there. I don't know. And I know some of you may be upset that I'm feeding live fish, but all these fish will get consumed today for sure. Um, and uh, that's, yeah, there's really nothing I could say except sometimes I need them to wiggle in order to get her to actually be interested in it. I wanted to go for the head first because she's got to learn to swallow it head first because of those spines. She is such a cool lizard. What a beauty. All right, I'm going to actually just leave her. I'm going to leave her with that fish because I can tell you. Oh, she went for it. Knocked it down. I'm just going to leave the fish there. And um, she's actually interested in it. You can see she's going to come down and investigate it. So I think that's the best thing for us to do. And as you know, these monitors will eat. They'll scavenge dead fish or dead animals. So I'm really not too concerned. I know she'll be able to get it. So we'll go ahead and just let her do her thing and I'll check back later. Um, so yeah, this is what has to happen sometimes. And I show you guys everything. Um, so, I mean, like I said, uh, it's not always perfect, but the job is to get the, our animals to eat. There are plenty of fish in my pond and uh, man, they have a good life and one bad day. Oh, the Chinese box turtles have been eating my fluker can of mealworms. These guys are awesome. And this is great. These mealworms come in a can by fluker. Uh, they have crickets and grasshoppers and shrimp in a can. And great way to feed uh, some protein to your omnivorous turtles or reptiles. They really, really love it. Let's go see if Bobby Rabina will eat a fish. Let's go see what that boy's up to. Uh, you're going to be surprised. He's a big boy. There he is. Big old Rubino. Get on this side. Get him excited. He has got a heck of a food response. What's up, Guaps? There's Guapo. All right. There he is up on his branch. He's getting too big for his branch. What do you guys think? We're going to have to get him a new home soon. Um, goodness gracious. Yes, this lizard is getting rather large. Uh, let's just have you guys stare up at him. Let's see if we can get him interested in seafood. Let's see. Oh, stop. Eat it, eat it. Eat it. Oh, yeah, that's food. That's food. There you go. There you go. Good boy. He's going to come down maybe and eat. What a character. I want him to be careful. He's not the most nimble of reptiles. He's a little clumsy, but those claws seem to do the trick for him. I think he has a touch of nerve damage from the issues he went through earlier this year. So let's see if he comes down to the, to the ground to consume the fish. And what's great about this, folks, is I'm giving them a wide variety of foods. So you want to give your carnivores a real wide variety. You don't want to get stuck on just rodents. In the wild, these animals would scavenge almost anything. Insects, rodents, bird, eggs, everything. Other reptiles. 
And um, it's important to do that here in captivity so you know they're getting a well-rounded diet full of everything they need. He's gonna back it on down. Careful, buddy, careful. Nice and easy. See how he just backs himself down. This wall that Tanner made out of foam. Really, really well done, Tanner. Shout out to my buddy Tanner Serpa. Recently hit a million on YouTube. Congratulations to him. He deserves it. I mean, he's a talented human being. And uh, I'm so psyched that he came down here and helped me build this for my buddy Slinky. Uh, excuse me, my buddy Bobby. We're gonna go see Slinky soon. Look at that. Holy smoke. But this lizard was almost dead. And here he is just chowing down, man. I think if he got down on the ground, it would be a heck of a lot easier for him to uh, try and eat this thing. See, he's trying to do the shake. See, he's coming down. He's coming down. Let's get him down here. Come on, buddy. What a beautiful lizard, though. And we got some eggs from Jerry's lizards, John and Mary, or John and Jane, I think her name is. And um, we've got a bunch of black throat eggs and happily i'm going to be able to get two of those little ones and i'll be raising them up oh careful 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 bob come here bob you, you could go right down there go down there that's a boy that's a boy where are you going where are you going you climbing out no we don't want you to climb out <laughs> he's so what a character where are you going come here go in there there you go now let's see him do his thing such a cool lizard yeah that's what we needed he wants a rock to get himself. Oh, look at that. Wow, he's got strong jaws. Jaws. My New York accent comes back every once in a while. But again, this is good because it's enrichment. It's a whole new prey item for him. So I want him to learn how to eat fish. And instinctively, you know, these animals will eat the head first. How awesome is he? I just love black throats. They have such a unique face. And again, like all monitors, just so intelligent. And all this is part of the enrichment. It's just part of his, you know, part of his behavior when he's trying to maybe break the spines off the dorsal fin of the fish. Uh, they shake it. He's arranging it. He's able to position the fish. Orient, uh, orient the head down his throat, and let's see. This is really cool. And again, I gotta feed him the live prey because I need them to wiggle in order to pique his interest. And then he figures out, he's gonna figure out that, hey, this tastes good. So then I'll be able to pre-kill the fish. But for now, I do have to feed them live. Amazing. Well, we can add another food item to Bobby's repertoire there, his diet. Some fish, that's good to see. Cause like I said, I didn't have any more rodents. So it would be a little while before I can get some. So now that I know he can eat and sustain himself with some fish, I think that's a win-win. So we'll just go ahead and give him this one. And um, let's head on and continue on our little journey feeding the monitors you guys know who this is she is aggro she is got the heck of a food response oh god piggy chill out that's everyone you don't bite your friends don't bite your friends pinks come on girl she is a, a lunatic absolute lunatic or shall i say luna chick now here we go whoa whoa go. god she's grabbed it come here girl Nice and gentle, like here. Now she's got her food, we'll put her back in here. No worries. <laughs> what a little lunatic. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch her while I grab another fish and get it ready. 
goodness what a total loony oh yeah you're tough oh my gosh she's got just such a food response when that door opens she she sees me she's already out the door i mean good grief she just grabbed it and i would prefer her to eat up here which is what we're gonna do let's see if she'll come up here hey i wanted to eat up here i just don't want her to get too much of the um you know oh there you go she grabs the head now now she's going for the head and then it's going to go right down the hatch she doesn't really waste too much time much different than bobby she's eaten fish before um she loves them and as you can see so good there it goes that's it you could just tell when she's ready to swallow it all right now watch this everyone we got another one right here right on it good girl that's a girl And in the wild, the water monitors will hunt for fish. We've seen Slinky actually try and corral fish uh, in his pond. It's really amazing to see that behavior. Um, and then again, there she goes. I better get another fish ready. She's not gonna. She's not gonna want to wait. Here's a larger one. There's a larger one for her. And again, the enrichment. I like it. You know, it's it's something that needs to be done. These animals need to hunt they need to catch their food they need to practice their coordination and that's what she did that's a larger fish but watch this she'll have no problem swallowing that look at her just an amazing animal the other fish is not quite down the throat Oh, sorry, sweetie. Gives me a little whip there. Now, you see, she's trying to position the animal horizontally, not vertically, because obviously it's a little harder for her to swallow. Now, the back of her jaws can stretch open. See, she's trying to twist it. Up, oh, good. She'll just drop it, rearrange it. Now she's got the bite she wants. There you go. That's it. She's actually pushing against that cork bark to help stuff it in her face. See that? And if you don't think they have teeth, these guys have teeth, but you can see the stretch. See how her back of her jaws on the lower part of her throat? See the back of her jaws, they stretch open. You can really see just how big she can make her mouth to swallow those large portions. Great job, girl. And that's gonna do it for her. Look at that right down. Wee! You're a big lady. That's my honey. All right. So awesome. All right, you're fed, babe. Let's go see what Lagoth is doing. See you, sweetie. Look at this pretty lady sunbed. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> Take it easy. Oh my God, I was just saying how beautiful you were. Take it easy, okay? We're gonna get you fed. She's uh, still a little jumpy. She's got that one eye, you see? And she is not a fan of people sneaking up on her, which is kind of what I did. So, my fault. What are you gonna do? Easy does it, sweetie. Don't go, don't go uh, biting the hand to feed you, okay? I'm just trying to get set up for a nice little shot, get you fed, and everyone will be happy because they get to see Lagatha. This should do it. This is a large fish. She should dig it. Should be big enough for her. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look, look. look. It's food. It's food. Do you want food? She could be temperamental, also, guys, as you can imagine.
she doesn't quite know what to make of me or the fish. I have given her fish before. Every time the fish moves, she gets a little jumpy. All right, she's not feeling the fish, not into it. All right, well, we're not gonna bug her too much longer. Um, no worries, no worries, I'll try her later. Uh, but let's go to somebody who I know is going to be very appreciative of this gift. The bounty that I've got for him. We're not too far away from him. Of course, we're talking about the Slinkster. Slinky! Oh, he's already here. Look where he is. Just sunbathing. Good dude. All right, let's open this up. Hey buddy, he's gonna see this bucket. Watch this. Oh, what's in the bucket? What's in the bucket, dude? Hey, dude, you gotta stay. I gotta grab it now, Slinks. All right, so you gotta be chill. Hold on. Let's get him. Uh, see, I gotta be careful because once he see, uh, once he sees the fish, it's gonna be all about the fish. There you go. First fish. I love how Slinky always does the little shaky poo with his head. No problem. That is my boy right there. Slinky, Slinky. There it is. He's gentle, you see? Do you see how smart he is? So check this out. He actually knows that there are spines that can kind of hurt the inside of his mouth so he doesn't go too crazy when he grabs them see oh man slinky you're the best see that real gentle all right we're gonna go for the jeez the big one has spines and hurt me all right here we go gonna give him a big one now Whoa, careful, <laughs> careful, buddy. Oh, he got that big one. Oh my gosh. Come on, Slinks. See, he knows that's the back side. You want the front side. He's, oh, he's amazing. Oh, he is just the awesome lizard. And again, this is great food for him. The oils in the fish, everything is just perfect for his body. He gets mad also when you come up behind him when he's got food. You don't want to do that to Slinky. And again, we're going to see a similar situation as we saw with Pinky. Both of these are Asian water monitors. And he's just going to position it. And he's going to see how he pushes against something sturdy. So he can kind of position the fish just to get that head. There it is. Almost there. That's it. Just the coolest lizard. He's gonna find a rock. Look at that, amazing.
There you go, everyone. Hard part's over. What an animal. What a privilege to just be able to take care of this guy. I absolutely love him. And you could just see how Komodo dragons, when they take down large prey items, they just all grab things together and they can really fit a lot through their mouths. And Slinky can do the same. Look at that, guys. So amazing. What an animal. And he's not even done. They'll just gorge themselves. I like to give him a good feed so that he's fat and happy. We won't feed him again like this for another week. We got different size prey items. And he'll take them all happily. Oh, he dropped the one. He doesn't know which one to grab. Don't forget that one, Lee. Don't forget that one, Slinky, right down there. Look, down there. There you go. So gentle. And all these are invasive fish here in Florida. All right. Do I have any more? I think I do. What do you think? Is Slinky well fed or not? I think he's an extremely happy boy right now with all the fish he's getting. And again, he, oh boy, he folded that guy. Yikes. Oh my goodness. Good job, boy. Finish what you got. That's it. All right, here. You see how he's kind of getting slow? His stomach's full. And he's almost got that food coma that we all get, that we're all gonna have on Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, Slinky. I'll make sure to get you some turkey on Thursday. Turkey for my big lizard. Swallow it up nice. Good boy, don't forget this one. Don't forget that one. That's it. You gotta finish your whole meal, buddy. Woo! Hey, where'd you go? Where's your face? There's his face. What a beautiful face he has. All right, everyone. We did it. We fed all the monitors. I'll go back and I'll make sure that I get some food for Lagatha and make sure that Inky ate her fish. Uh, if not, I do have some canned foods. Uh, that I'm able to feed them that they'll eat. But um, hey, I think it's really cool that Bobby Rubino wound up getting himself uh, a fish today. We know he'll eat anything, that good old Bobby Rubino. And look at this, Slinky's done. He's just kind of checking things out. But you can see, an intelligent animal knows my hands are not fish, even though they smell a little fishy. What a good animal. There you go, guys. I guess I'm just gonna relax and hang out with Slinky a little bit more. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll be seeing you all soon, okay? Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know what you think of all the monitors I have here. Do you guys like them? What do you say? Do you guys wish you had a pond maybe you could get some free food out of? Let me know in the comments below. Talk to you all soon. Happy Thanksgiving. He's stiffening. <laughs>